Alright, welcome back to Fear or no not not Fear not. Ruby Quest! We're continuing we're continuing where we left off of just like splitting the episode, bam, just we're getting right back into it. Cubbyhole. Where the good stuff is. Good stuff being underlined. Two two bottles of surface cleaner, two spray bottles, one mop, one broom, one mop bucket, four boxes of trash bags, ten rolls of toilet paper, and what? One single of morphine? One something of morphine, I think. Oh, I can just read it here, fuck me. One syringe of morphine. Cubby hole, where the good stuff is. I don't know who put this little door on the wall, but I'm keeping what's inside. So they're saying there's a hidden door here? Oh wait, we're right here. I see a sort of crease on the wall. It's not like I want the fucking morphine shot, but... Huh. Maybe we're gonna need it for Tom. A syringe containing morphine gives invincibility. <laughs> Strange. Not like I exactly need this, so... I'm gonna drop the morphine and the CD until I find a for future use. It doesn't seem to be story-based. The, the J possibly will be. But not the morphine. It's just if you want invincibility. Oh, wait. Oh, it's trying to tell me... I think what... I think I can go through these vents. I think of the things I did see in the comic, like I had said, I didn't spoil myself with the original story, and it's true, but I remember trying to look up the solution to the puzzle of the peg. And the only thing I remember seeing multiple times in the storyboard images was Tom and Ruby constantly going up, like, vents to reach upper levels, and like, boosting each other, sort of shit. I think maybe this is it. Because this symbol is probably what the... I can't gaze closer, is a symbol for the peg that will be needed to open this door? Yeah. So I was right about the peg needing to unlock the different doors, but the thing is, I need... I wonder if there's a peg symbol by the, the heavy thick doors that originally got me into this new area. Possibly so. Because I needed it turned downward for to enter here. I'm guessing right or left to enter that door. But if I move it once, then I won't be able to return to this door area. So I need to find a way to solve that puzzle, too. There's a packet of energy gel here. What the fuck? Energy gel? Is it, is it gummies? I like gummies, but... Should restore some stamina. Nah. I never saw a point to these things. The stamina is already always shit, so I mean... I don't know. Huh. Alright. We gotta find Tom. Tom should be maybe in here? Or he's in the room with the- oh god. He keeps going. Interesting painting. Some kind of... coat on the side of the air conditioning? And three extra rooms. You look like offices more than... I can't enter them? locked. I don't think Tom's in any- okay, I don't like this. I don't want to die, that's the issue. The drawer's ruined along with everything else. I can see an ID card at- oh! Oh, the bear! His name is Stitches! Yeah, well, he certainly went a lot. Went through a lot for him to be that insane in his own room. Yeah, this door just absolutely is not interactable. That's a shame. So it's just the room was never worked on. Uh, let me see if the other controls. Uh, space bar? No, it's just nothing. So stitches. I have stitches card. Didn't know his name was Stitches. Which is kind of ironic because... It, maybe that's why Red was laughing because... He basically would break down his body and, like, stitch him together, sort of? I, I don't know. Male. Or seen, or bear. 156 pounds. He's pretty light for a bear. 
His card certifies clearance one. He's a patient. Interesting. The Metal Glen curing the uncurable. Hmm. Well, we have two level one cards then. Not sure if they serve any purpose at the scanner, both combined or not. Another thing being that this door isn't even worked on, so I'm wondering if they're needed or not. It's locked. Hmm. Also, there is no symbol by these doors I have just confirmed. The other question is, why is it the thick door that I opened from right here leads to this room, but there's another thick door here? But wouldn't that lead to, like, underwater? The, there's only one door that leads here, so where the fuck would this lead to, even? Like, that makes no sense. Unless they just shoehorned this room, even though it's meant for somewhere else, I don't know. Let's just try to see if the, the cards work, or if I have the means to access this door. Or, whoops, wrong, wrong area. If I can enter that goddamn room now or not. Oh! Wait, did I drop something here? Ah, it's just the other hand. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to need the hands. Oh, we're going to have to think, because this might be where we get stuck again, unless we figure it out. We have... the notebook papers. We have the puzzle that involved levers. But now the question is, we how would I get through the hand scanners? Or how do I just move forward? I swear, like, we need tape. Maybe there's something else in the janitorial closet, because if not for that, maybe I'll need to move one of these benches to block the door. Do I even want to try to guess what this is? Yeah, it's just kind of weird. Oh, wait. See, the symbol is by the door. Fuck me. I think it's because... Hang on. Oh, I think I fucking solved the reason why I didn't know the puzzle of how to open that door. When you open these, the room turns super blue. And over here, super dark, I can't see the symbol that's by the door, but there is a symbol. Well, if I had these closed... The room light, light, lights up more, and you can definitely, definitely see a symbol there. You can see when it's dark, but I didn't look for an etching on the wall, thinking it had any meaning. But so far, we have definitely seen etchings that have a relation to that puzzle. So my question is, was there a door any other point in time in this game previously that had an etching of any of the four symbols that are I that are by the peg? Oh, okay, well, fuck this stupid nurse. One of the easiest to take down, but still very annoying. Oh my. Seriously, they're the bitch slapping. Fuck you. So we have to figure out where this, this one is. Or the top one at that. I don't know which, where the top one is, and I don't know where the left one is. The bottom one, or sorry, the one on the right is the door past the thick doors down south. The one I saw that was next to the janitorial closet. But when we turn the this lever, of course, it uh, closes the heavy door. So I think what we need to do is... This can't be the end of the game. It's just another puzzle I'm going to be stuck at and have to actually look around. This elevator has to be fixed probably for us to go back up to that room. But... I'm going to have to look around to see where the other symbols are. Because then I'll know what is activating because of the peg and what isn't activating. I think what I'll do is go down to this basement though. That's where I'm going to first look. This... It really looks like is a, this looks like the same circuit board that would be for the puzzle. Game, can you stop freezing like that? 
See, like, like the puzzle I had before when I wrote down, there's four four rows and four columns. This circuit board has, oh no, sorry, this is three, but it looks very, very similar to what we'd be probably dealing with another circuit board to maybe activate the elevators. And coincidentally, I did pick up the the circuit panel key, which was on the floor previously used for this circle panel. And it has on the outside circuit panel etched on it. So perhaps in one of the rooms I can open a circuit panel and it can be used to activate the elevators. Oh god, no. Yeah, so I'm going. What, what I'm gonna do, hopefully, not get chased around, especially by the stupid fucking fox. I'm going to literally go everywhere just to look for those stupid fucking symbols. It's just anything that's a door and it was previously locked and I've never been into. I must look for those symbols because we found two of them. We need to find the four, the two others. Either they're in an inaccessible future area or there's two others or just one that has a necessary item for us progressing. Because there has to be, at the very least, progression in this game that makes it so that we see uh, Tom. Because there's a cutscene in the folder with the cutscene images that shows uh, us reuniting with Tom. So that part of the game has to be done. We just have to find out, oh god, how to reach Tom. <gasps> we unlock panel! Oh, what? I can actually... No. Oh, no. Wait, what? Oh, my God. Piece of shit. No, not now. No. Oh, you're kidding me. I found circuit... Fucking piece of shit. Fucking... Okay, where's the auto save go? Oi, oi, oi. Come on. This is too far backwards. It means everything I did, I had to fucking redo. That fucking annoys me. Because there's no area for us to... Actually, but I did go back. I could have fucking saved it, and I didn't. Now we learned. To re-get everything, re-look at everything. So I'm going to skip ahead. Alright, instead of skipping ahead, I picked one of the newer saves. And I grabbed the circuit panel key. So we're going to do the circuit panel, hopefully without the stupid fucking raccoon here. Because this is where it usually fucking hangs out. Alright, because I had never realized, unless this was just in the newer version, I swear I've always been able to come here. I just, I found there was no point in this room. There's literally no point, but maybe... But being it's a generator, I was like, oh hey, a circuit panel, the circuit panel puzzle. I've never opened this, maybe I could have always opened this, but I just never thought to, or it just never could have been unlocked before. Yeah, but we have main elevator! This is exactly what we're looking for. Excellent. Because the puzzle that we'd get, so what you'd have to do is spin the the peg to da downward, go search all that new area that I did, find this, and then you have to go back down here, use a circuit board key, unlock this, and it's for the elevator to activate, so then you can use the elevator to get back in the room, with the pegboard then turn to the right to get to that door that was locked by one of the, you know, we got progress. That's essentially the main thing. The question is for the three, because there's the three that weren't shown on the puzzle. So those could be anything, but it should flick on. Like it should alert me. Oh, hey, the power's on. It should. If it doesn't and the game wants me to double check the elevator for every combination that I'm unsure of, then it's kind of douchey. Like that one, that one, this one, this one. But this one, this one, this one, or sorry, no, this one, and the, these three. Wait, what? That noise. 
That noise sounded like confirmation. Wait, photograph? Since when was there a photograph here? The photograph appears to be show a dark, murky surface. Smudgy writing below states they're underwater. I don't remember getting this. Maybe it's new. But either way, I think I solved the puzzle. I think. I think. There's only one way to obviously find out, and that's... Not run into this stupid fucking raccoon. He's around here somewhere. I don't want the troubling goddamn. I just gotta know if I fix the elevator, and I think I think it's the elevator. Ah, oh, motherfucker! It's probably the elevator that is by the peg room. Okay, is the elevator functioning? God, I fucking bitch! I have time for your shit, man. Really? 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 Oh, okay. Okay, okay. So we got the fucking peg. The question is... I, I need to heal myself before I die. I'm just... Ugh. If this elevator is not functioning... <gasps> I did! The noise was the cue. Oh! Where does it go? Oh shit, I have a choice. Oh shit. We're on floor four? Close the fucking doors. Okay. Floor three. Cool. Where does it lead, though? How many levels are made? Oh, shit. Yeah, see, that was the elevator. Nice. Okay, now we need to find where that health was. We won't at least get ch fucking chased around here, but still. There's so much I just gotta do. Can I use Galdine's card here? No, doesn't seem to be. I need to go get those bandages and drink my water to get my health back. Then save the game. Then save. 100%. Glad I figured out this stupid puzzle, but I'm also glad the developer made it so the power turned on that they added a little humming sound sort of as evidence. Unlike before, where I was like, I complained about there not being notification, aka the the pegboard, the peg on the wall. It not having any no noise is really super annoying. But then again, the issue with the whole peg on the wall was I never noticed there's etchings of symbols on the wall. Because the only place it would have ever been available is at the start of the game in that lounge area. If you didn't see that symbol, you would never be like, oh hey, that symbol looks familiar, you know? Because that, that, never, that never kicked in. I was just like, the fuck are these pegboard symbols? I've never fucking seen them before. Okay, so another question. And also, yeah. Another question would be, since we have this main elevator, one, I'll go back to floor four. Either it's fourth as in we're on the, it can't be the lowest though. So fourth is the highest, it's by height. The lounge area and this lab area is the highest, but we can go deeper. There's no elevator that makes it so we go, um... What's the word I'm looking for? That makes it go to, like, the surface or anything. Like, we're literally probably just completely submerged. Alright, I don't know where the left symbol is. Or the top one. I don't know why the top one also has it so... Whatever is, like, the other part of the, the symbol on the top, it's covered with a blood splotch. No idea why. But, with the elevator now working, we can go to that one door. I wanna save first, just in case we don't, you know, I, I just don't wanna fucking die now of all fucking times. Cause I have so much 
Oh, fuck you. I- No. 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 Get the fuck away from me. I want you to save. I can't save if I'm being fucking chased. Fucking obnoxious. Oh my god, you now? And I'm tired? Oh my god. Really? Not the right time to be tired. I just would like to fucking save, please. Save. Yes! Even though I got a little injured, I'll drink some water later. Uh, guess this one. There we go. Fucking progress. We can go in the elevator. Should we? We should be able to. I just, I'm curious about where the other floors go. Like level one's the lowest. Have I been there? Real? Why the fuck would you be like? Oh, hey, I know you're over here, bitch. She rushed over here for what reason? Anyway, so, level 1 and level 2, I don't know where they go. I want to do that before I check out the door on level 3. Because level 3 is where we need to obviously go, but level 1 and 2... What is this bitch doing? You don't see me! She's just, like, randomly bursting. Weird. Okay, his back is turned. Sneak by them. Rather not have them just rush to me obnoxiously. R really? What a load of horse shit. Oh god, no. Press button. For the love of god, this stupid rabbit is there. Fuck me. Okay. And close the door while we're at it. Okay, it's not- it's not open. God. Two, where does- Call... MX. Huh. Okay, so we only can go... Three and four. Call MX. Manager? What did MX mean? Hmm. Oh well, then we have only one choice. Go to the door. We don't have much else, and we just gotta hope that the door down here gives us enough progress that I don't become stumped again. Or Tom. Oh, okay. Well, that's this creature. You're quite the tall boy, aren't you? Oh god. It's like fucking pocket cat. Oh god. We're gonna lose him down here. This is a good use of this fucking room. Come on. As soon as he enters the room. I said as soon as he enters the room. Or he doesn't. Alright, that's all the time I have for this episode, but I hope you've been enjoying Ruby Quest, since we got more progress than I was initially expecting we'd get, and we're just continuing till the end of it all. So, let's leave it there. I hope you've been enjoying. If you have, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber, hit the bell notification down below for updates of my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time.